Good morning, happy Monday, and welcome back to a weekly vlog. I feel like the weekly vlogs kind of went a bit weird for a minute there. Um, I basically didn't pick up the camera for a few days, then it kind of became apparent that it wasn't going to be in time for me to put up a weekly vlog last week, so I ended up just not doing a weekly vlog last week. I just couldn't get it going, it wasn't, it just, it just wasn't happening. So we're back. <laughs> um, but I'm starting this on a Monday, which is really weird, so this will probably be like a two-day vlog and we'll go up on Wednesday. At the moment, I'm just putting up I'm trying to put up a weekly vlog every week, but it might be a different day. It just depends what's happening. During this lockdown, everything is kind of just weird and all over the place, but there you go, we're back. And today I am going to do a bit of editing. I'm putting up a video that Becky and I filmed ages ago, um, which is making mini ears. So Becky kind of shows how she does that. Before I do that, I will probably show you my Animal Crossing Island real quick, um, because I know some of you have been wanting to see progress when we've been talking about it in the live stream, so I'll show you that in a minute. Then I will, what else do I need to do today? I wanna order some new makeup just to try out for um, when I go to Florida. I'm not sure when I'm gonna be going, but when I do go, it's likely to be hotter than usual because normally I go maybe in like March time. I go quite often in November, December, but I could end up there in the summer at this rate. So I wanna try some new foundations that are waterproof and have really good staying power and just to kind of try them out. I don't buy tons of makeup these days. I'm pretty good at just sticking to what I know, but I do like to try new things and I like to let you guys know if I find anything really good. So I'm just kind of having a little look on Look Fantastic, which is a good site. They have a lot of the different brands. And on Wednesday, I'm hoping fingers crossed, to get the new Jeffree Star palette. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to get it. I know that there's a limited amount and they're only selling through his website um, and they're always so popular. But this next palette he's bringing out is kind of like grey shades and I love like a smoky grey kind of eye palette. So I'm really, really hoping I can get my hands on one of those. I'm also hoping to speak to my brother today. Um, we don't have a live stream tonight, so it's just a fairly chilled day really. Um, I might make some cookies later though, we haven't done any baking for a while. I've been trying to be good, um, it is hard in lockdown. You do tend to eat more snacks than usual. We do have our new treadmill on the way, um, but yeah maybe I'll make some cookies. I know Ian is kind of keen to have some because I haven't baked any for a couple of weeks. So I'm gonna get back to this editing and I'll catch you up in a bit. So this is my living room. I'm still waiting for like a lot of furniture, so some of my rooms are not great. I do love this room at the back. This is my office and craft room. So I've got my phone and fax machine there, my little bookcase. I've got my YouTube lighting, my desk there, which actually looks kind of like the desk I do have here at home. Then I've got my sewing machine, my little kind of craft table there, my pin board, and then my workbench, which is where I do all my like crafting. So I do quite like that room. Then I have my bathroom. And again, I'm kind of lacking some sort of furniture in here, but we have the sink, cleaning products, toilet, bidet, and shower, thanks to Brogan, because I didn't have a shower, so she got me that. And then I've got another little sink and my washing machine. So that's the bathroom. Then in here we have the kitchen. This is my least favorite room because I just don't have any proper furniture and like kitchen units. So I've just kind of got little tables here with my coffee maker, my toaster and stuff. And then I've got some stuff on the floor. So I really would like this room to look better, but I just need some more kind of kitchen furniture and stuff. So the bedroom is the biggest room and this is a bit of a kind of mix up again because I don't have the right furniture and with the furniture you have to kind of wait for it to become available or for you to get like the DIY thing to make it so I've just got a bit of a weird kind of thing. I've got a couch over here. I really like this flooring but I don't like it with the furniture I've got but that's just kind of how it is. I've got my teddy bears here my kind of wardrobe and drawers, bed, and then over here I've got my little dressing table with my nail set and my accessories and stuff. So this is my bedroom currently, but it does need some work. So back outside. So this is my little garden. I've started to get some of my hybrid flowers because you get, I think, yellow, white, and red, and then you can put them next to each other and sometimes get different colors. And I got my first blue flower. I think the blue ones and the black ones are the rarest. So I've got my blue pansy there, but I've only got one of those. And then I've got all of my pink hybrid flowers along here. Something else is starting to grow there. And then at the museum, I've got some black roses that have grown, so 
just waiting to see what happens with those i think sometimes if you put two of the hybrid ones together you get something different so anyway that's that then back here is the main kind of plaza so that's the town hall there's Audi, she's one of my favorite villagers and leaf turns up i think once a week it seems and sells like different flower seeds and stuff so i've already bought some this morning then we have nook's cranny which is the little shop and then i have the able sisters shop so this is the clothes shop let's just quickly go in there i'll show you and um the other sister i keep forgetting her name uh sable so at first when you try and talk to her she's quite like blunt with you but if you keep talking she will eventually befriend you so i've managed to befriend her and then you can go in the little fitting room and buy whatever clothes are available that day. So that's the little clothes shop. And I'll just quickly show you the rest of it because it's quite big. So if you go up these stairs, this is where the other villagers live. So we've got Filbert in there. He's a little blue squirrel. Then this is Audie's house. We just saw her. She's the fox. Then Wade, my little penguin, lives in here. And at the back we have a marina and she's a little pink octopus so i'm currently going to make her um, garden really pink which is cute so that's all the the houses then i've got my little zen garden back here so a little chill out area oh there's marina i love her she's so cute We've got a little juice bar here, like a little smoothie thing. A lot of the things you build, like they don't do anything, but it just looks looks cute. So around here we've got a little playground. Then I've got this swimming pool area that I'm building. So you've got my little lifeguard chair, locker and some little spectator chairs. And then I kind of built this square kind of pool. So that's cute. Then I've got my campsite. And then look what we have back here. Ohana. So I've built Ohana on my island. So we've got all our little tables and chairs, our tiki torches. Then back here, we've got the fire pit for cooking the skewers, another little cooking thing, and this is the bar. So this is my little Ohana. And I made that sign, so I love that. Then around here, I've just started building this area. This is kind of like a little entertainment venue, so there's like musical instruments, a little dance floor here, and then um, Brogan sent me this fortune cookie cart, which is really cute, We've got a drink machine, this ice cream lamp my friend Hannah gave me, so yeah, this is really cool. I love this game that you can send people stuff, I just think it's so cute. And then if we go up here, we have Via Napoli. So I have built Via Napoli on my island, so here's my three pizza ovens i've got some peach trees back there for making my bellinis and another little cooking thing there for cooking the pasta and then i've got a little cute fountain over here so i just love this again i made this via napoli sign and then this sign is somebody else's design that i got but i just think this is so cute then I have one more Disney restaurant that I'm working on. It's a work in progress, but I will still show you. This one was a bit harder to do. We have sci-fi dining, which is so cute. So we've got some little menu board and some kind of space themed things going on there. Then we have the check-in area where we've got the popcorn cart, which obviously they do give out popcorn at sci-fi, little waiting area. Then I've tried to do it kind of with the trees. I've got some street lamps coming, which I haven't got yet. Um, so those will be going along the side. Because if you look around you in sci-fi, there's scenery kind of like you're outside. Then I've got my little milkshake maker thing there. And then we have a couple of cars and our screen. So I've got another bit of screen to go here so that it looks bigger. 
and then I'm ordering more cars. These are actually race car beds, but I thought it was cute. So I just wanted to have as much kind of Disney on my island as possible. So that's that. And then let's just go around here. So these are all my fruit trees that I just kind of get my fruit from every day. And then up here, I won't bother going up there, but this is where I grow all my flowers. So that little bit is just a kind of dedicated flower growing area. So that's pretty much it. Later. Okay, very exciting box just arrived. It is Joffrey's order number two. Yes, we already have another order from them. And I decided to get a few more of the flavored ones because we loved the Biscoff one so much. So I did get Citrico's because we've got to get a Disney coffee. And um, actually I think I've got two Disney coffees. And this one um, we haven't tried before. Then I got this Baker's Dozen, which is notes of dark chocolate with a hint of glazed donut. Then we have Pecan Praline, and I absolutely love the Starbucks chocolate praline mocha when they have that, I think normally at Christmas, so I thought this would be really good. Then we have obviously more Biscoffee because it's just amazing. The Cocoa Cookie Oats, which I think is a new one. A delicious blend of savoury oatmeal cookie and rich chocolate chips. That sounds incredible. And also the Wave. Obviously, we always go to the Wave, so I figured we should definitely try that. So I am very excited. I love, love, love Joffrey's. Um, this is not sponsored or anything. I just love them, so I will link them below. So it's later on. I am using my fan. I'm having a bit of an overheated moment <laughs> because I'm just cooking dinner and I'm making risotto, which is obviously on the hob, and it's pretty warm in here. Um, and we're also watching watching The Last Dance, which is the um, documentary about the Chicago Bulls, which is amazing. It's really long, isn't it? We've been watching it for yeah, ages, I think, yeah. I think we're watching the ninth episode now, and yeah. the tenth one is the last one. Yeah, it's really long, but it's so good. It is amazing. Even if you're not that into basketball, it's just really interesting. So we're doing that, and then I have more work to do, and Ian, I think, is playing poker tonight with your friends online. Yeah, I think that's what I'm doing. Yeah. So that's all good, but I need my fan. <laughs> and I've got my little risotto on the go. It does not look very appetizing at this point, but I, honestly, it really is good. And I've got my tomato ready to go in and then just some cheese. I eat this all the time, I really do. I just love it so much. So I'm just having a bit of Erin Condren time and I've been doing a bit more setup with my planner that starts in July. So this is the one I did the video on and I've just been doing a few more things. So I've gone through and done the washi tape and the stickers, um, like I mentioned, for all of the months in this first planner. I just love this planner so much, so nice. And I've gone through and just done a bit of decorating here and there, added in like people's birthdays and stuff. And then for July, I've started doing a little bit of decoration on each page. So I've used the washi strips from the Erin Condren sticker books to decorate each one. And some of them look really nice. And then other ones I'm not as keen on the actual washi strips like some of them are a bit thicker but I don't think that's too bad it's really nice um, washi tape with the foiling and everything and I've gone through and highlighted which week that we're on I was talking about that in the video as well I think because I always just like to see at a glance what point of the month we're in if that makes any sense so yeah I've gone through and done that for the whole of July I didn't put any washi on the weekends because it's kind of I don't really know where to put it but I did do a little weekend sticker and that is also, can you see a foil one from Happy Cutie Studio? And then there were some of these ones. So I just thought that was cute. Just a little kind of bit of decoration, different kind of color scheme on each page. But yeah, I just thought that was cute. So I'm kind of really getting this ready. If I don't do this ahead of time, I tend to just not get chance. And then the planner would be absolutely fine, but it would look quite plain. And I do like to have a bit of decoration. So I do tend to do this when I get a minute, I will um, do the whole month or however long just so that it's done ahead of time. And I do have the other daily duo planner. So this is the one that starts in January 2021. And I was going to do the same thing in here. I've got this new cover on, which is so cute. The She designed a life she loved. I love that. And I've just put Disney in detail on the bottom. I've got the silver band around it and the platinum coil I just I love that I think that's so nice and I've already started to go through and I've used the neutral washi tape on this one I love both the neutral and the colorful one this washi tape is one of the nicest ones they've had I think sticking washi tape in my planner is surprisingly something I really really enjoy doing but I do I don't know why 
must say, I've had this order turn up today from Snag, which is a brand of tights that I really, really love. Let me just open this up. And it's so cute how these come packaged. So I got three black pairs and two natural pairs. They're actually called Builder's Tea, the particular color that I get. And they are just amazing. If like me, you're someone who struggles with tights to get them to fit, um, I always have problems like the top part isn't big enough so they don't come up high enough or they roll down or they're just not, if they just don't fit. Snag tights are amazing. Um, I have quite thick legs so that's why I struggle with tights and they have so many different sizes and the fit is just perfect. And they did actually put out an email a few weeks ago now during the lockdown with coronavirus and everything. And they said that with them being a kind of small business, they were struggling and they were struggling to access I guess like help and assistance with their business so they were just kind of putting a call out to say if anybody wants to place an order and all that kind of thing so I thought I would order some tights obviously it's coming into the summer but I do absolutely love them and for the winter I just wouldn't want to be without them so I ordered a few pairs and hopefully they managed to weather the storm with all of this craziness because they are so good I just love 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 it so I will link them below if you want to check them out because yeah they're so good and I've been playing Animal Crossing for ages. <laughs> um, it's actually really late. I should be in bed, but I just wasn't very tired. So I'm going to head off in a minute. Um, but some really weird things happened tonight when I was playing Animal Crossing. All of my fellow villagers were just being super weird. Whenever I was trying to like move trees and do pl like planting flowers and stuff like that, they were all like hovering around and getting in the way and just being like there. And they don't normally do that. Then two of them had like a little falling out. <laughs> so I was trying to like deal with that and help them. Then um, randomly, really, really late at night, one of them was just singing in like the middle of the little square. It was so weird. So it's been a weird evening in Animal Crossing. Um, but I think I'm gonna head to bed now. Basically after dinner, which I briefly showed you my risotto that I made, we just watched a bit more of The Last Dance. And uh, yeah, then I've just been playing Animal Crossing. So I am going to head to bed. Tomorrow is gonna be more filming. I need to film my Degusta Box video. And I think I'm gonna do a What's In My Florida makeup bag because a few of you have asked for that. And we've got a live stream tomorrow as well. Tuesday is always live stream evening. So it'll be busier tomorrow than it has been today. So I should probably get a little bit of sleep. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, happy Tuesday. I never know what day it is. As soon as I go to say it, then have to think, what day is it? Tuesday. <laughs> and, um, I am here at my desk again, as you can see, just getting some stuff done. I have a lot of little things today. So I need to do some posts on Patreon. I need to announce the giveaway winner for the planner, which you guys will know about by now. Um, I need to film a little intro for a video. So all kinds of little things. Then later we are filming the next reaction video of the um, 2016 vlogs to go up on Saturday. And then we are doing a live stream this evening. So lots going on, but I like that because it does pass the time. I've been realizing how bad my hair needs dyeing. I've been using like root touch up spray, but it's like really patchy and not great. But yeah, I might just put a box dye like on my roots and then hope the hairdresser can uh, sort it out when I'm eventually allowed to go. And I'm just having a California Grill coffee again. It is a really good one. I do like all of the Joffrey's ones we've had so far. I haven't had any bad ones, but I posted on Instagram this morning. I'm really, really missing Starbucks. I could really just use like a Frappuccino. That would be so nice. The weather's really nice as well. So it feels like that kind of Frappuccino vibe that I always get when I'm at Disney, um, but we don't have a drive through because some people commented on my post that the drive throughs are open, but we don't have one where I live. So that's a shame. We do have a Costa, so I wonder if their drive through is open. But to be fair, we're not going anywhere, so I'm not gonna like go to a drive through just to do that, like if we were doing something else. But to be honest, we just haven't been doing anything. We are still staying indoors um, as much as possible and anything that we've needed, we've got delivered. So yeah, we just haven't, haven't been going out. So I will have to wait a little bit longer, I think. But I might try making one. I did mention that in the post as well, that I might try a, a DIY Frappuccino possibly. See, so yeah, I'm going to get on with these posts that I need to do and um, the little intro and I do need to think about dinner as well because we've got all of those things to do. I need to make sure we eat before the live stream because we've made a mistake of not doing that before and then you get really hungry like part way through the live stream. So anyway, I'm going to do that and I'll see you guys in a bit. So it is grocery time and we have some poppadoms. 
for Ian's curry. Some Coke Zero. Sorry, the washing machine's going, if you can hear that. I did get some of these um, crispy dipper things just to have on hand for like quick dinners. We don't normally have stuff like that, but you know, sometimes you need to. Then I got frozen raspberries to go on top of my yogurt with my granola. I did get this pizza. I don't normally buy pizzas like this. Like if we did ever have pizza, it would probably be like a takeout pizza. But I just really, really fancied it. So I got that. And this was actually a substitution. It was supposed to be the plain lentil chips, but it's actually white cheddar quinoa puffs. So we'll see what those are like. Then I got some ginger ale. Ian has got a new VR headset and sometimes it makes you feel a little bit sick because of the kind of motion and people online have suggested that ginger ale might help so i did get him some of that just to see if it does help then some milk ian's hot and spicy what's it that he has some barbecue sauce dry shampoo biscuit brew some broccoli this thing of gravy granules is actually to send to my brother i know that's really random but that's one of the things that he likes us to send him from home so I got that, then some water chestnuts, some biscuits. I thought I'd just try these butter biscuits. I don't know if they're any good. Finally, some vanilla essence, which I've been waiting ages to get. It's just been out of stock forever since lockdown, but I finally have some. Then some dip, some vine tomatoes, some peppers, and Ian's little chocolate things that he has. And that is everything. So I'm just having a little snack break and I don't know if I showed you guys these yogurts. I think I got these on a week when I didn't do a grocery haul, so I may not have mentioned them. They are the Muller Bliss cheesecake inspired yogurts and this is the salted caramel. This thing is so good. <laughs> It's not particularly healthy, obviously, as yogurts go, but oh my gosh, it's so nice. If you like salted caramel, you will definitely like this. So I got these just as a little treat. Um, oh, this is delicious. I'm excited. So it's a little bit later on now and we've just eaten. I'm just about to play a little bit more Animal Crossing because we have the live stream in around an hour. So we filmed our reaction video that's going up on Saturday. I did a bunch of other stuff. So it's been a busy afternoon. So I'm just taking a little bit of downtime. And then this evening I want to do a bit more in my Erin Condren planner because I didn't get finished the other night. And we just finished watching The Last Dance, which is the documentary about the Chicago Bulls and Michael Jordan it was so good we are huge basketball fans so for us it was just incredible um but i think most people would like enjoy it because it's really interesting so i'm kind of bummed that it's over actually <laughs> but it was yeah we've been watching it for the past kind of couple of weeks we had to keep waiting for new episodes to come out it's all available now but we were kind of watching it real time so we've had to wait for the most recent episode so yeah, I'm gonna do some Animal Crossing. The fish man is there today called CJ. You've got various people who turn up once a week and there's someone who sells flowers and then there's the guy you can sell your fish to and he pays more money than the shop. And they also have a bug person who comes around. So um, I like to do a lot of fishing on that day so that I can sell him all my fish. And I sold him the ones that I'd been storing this morning and made loads of bells for that. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then it'll be time for the live stream. So we are out to do the live stream. And as you can see, this is our little setup. So this is from the other side to what you normally see. So there's Ian's uh, chair that's virtually on the floor and he needs to get another one. Yeah, this is a highly professional streaming setup that we've got here. I am going to replace my chair. Yeah, he is yeah, going to order will. another chair. I've just realised that the back of my chair looks kind of like a really ripped like six pack or I something. I was literally it's just like, thinking that. That's so weird. Your chair is like swole. Look how old, I look at my back pillow as well, I'm so old. I'm not old, I've just got TM. I've got an excuse. Three hours later. So it's later on now and I'm just having some planner time. I've got my current one and also my new one. It's really relaxing for me at the end of a day. And I need to package up the other planner that I got for the giveaway because somebody has now won that one. I announced it over on Instagram. And so I've got to do that. And I've got more packaging up to do tomorrow of some more pins. Um, the Patreon pins that need to go out. So yeah, I think that's going to be it pretty much for tonight and for this vlog. I feel like it's going to have been a short one. I always say that though, and then it actually isn't that short, but I really do feel like this one might be. So sorry if it is, but that has just been what it is. You know, these vlogs are real life and it has been kind of quiet around here. Hopefully in the coming weeks, we will be able to gradually, gradually do a little bit more. Obviously it's important for things to be safe. That is the main priority and it's fine. We've really been lucky and we've been doing really well, but I must admit I do miss kind of real life and I hope that at some stage we'll be able to 
have some of the normal things that we had before. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe here and over on Disney in Detail. We still have vlogs going up over there every Saturday and um, you guys really enjoyed the first one. So make sure you subscribe over there as well. And as always, thank you for watching. I hope you're all having a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.